Hi guys, uh, my name is Mark Maeda and I'm going to be doing my SPED talk today on input fields for all of your inputting needs. Uh, so as always, W3Schools has a really good quick tutorial on how to do a really general one. Uh, and it's basically just an input tag with the type of file. You can see right here, that's what it makes. It just makes that there. Uh, now, the thing with this is that uh, Anytime you're going to be doing an input field or a, a, an upload tool, you're probably going to be using uh, backend development with it. Uh, for that, my weapon of choice is uh, Node.js and the Molter NPM library. So let's go over here to the docs real quick. Now, Molter is just, it's just a NPM library that does all the heavy lifting for you for uh, finding files and uh, and moving them onto the server that you're that you're uh, that you're trying to. So you know your normal npm install save multer, uh, and then this here gives you a quick little uh, little idea of what your what your form should look like. This right here, the encrypt multi-part form data, really important. It straight up won't work without it. Uh, and then you and then you name the the field what you want it to. Uh, now, Molter works as a middleware. Uh, so, coming down here to the the actual the actual docs. Oh, the Woodland Park Save Pool. Uh, coming down here to the actual uh, how it actually works. You got your normal require express, require Molter, and then you uh, create an object for it with uh, with the destination of where you want it to go. DEST uploads. That's the only thing you absolutely have to have in Molter. Uh, there are a lot of other cool little tools uh, that that uh, that they have there. Like you can uh, specify what type of file you want or how large of a file you want. Uh, but with a five-minute time limit, I'm not going to be able to get into that. Uh, so come down here. Your it has your normal post, uh, and then uh, you use upload dot single or array or fields depending on what you, what you're using. I use single. And then you give it, uh, tell it which field you're looking for. So uh, coming back up here, this this one named it avatar. And so we're looking for avatar. And then you go back into your normal function. Uh, now, so just to show you what I'm doing here, I'm creating a I'm creating a, a web application for my sister-in-law's bakery, so that uh, she can create blog updates and uh, she can keep a keep a running uh, running total of what. Her bakery has on stat and, and stock and uh, and calendar updates and everything like that. Uh, but so we're going to be just looking at the blog, uh, the blog part of it uh, right now. So I named my field uh, update image, and so we're going to come in here, uh, scroll down here, upload single update image, uh, and then. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can handle it to actually dynamically load files into into it because you know what's what good is uploading a file if it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, but um, uh, the best way to do it is to just save the file uh, the the pathway to the file. So if we uh, what am I? so uh, the uh, uh, Molter has uh, Molter has when when you use Molter it creates a file object that has a lot of different a lot of different uh, a lot of different fields in it. So you got field name, original name, encoding, MIME type size, destination, file type path. Uh, and the 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 best way that I found to uh, to do that is uh, is to save just save the save the uh, file name with the path in into your that you want into your database, and then you can plug it in right there and and load file, load images dynamically into it. Uh, one quick thing that I forgot to mention is that when I when I did mine, I loaded mine into the public directory's image uploads, so right there. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and fire this off. And uh, as I said, when you when you uh, when you create when you create when you use Molter, it creates the file object. And so I'm just dumping into the console here to show you guys really quick uh, all, all the fields and because it's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of information. Uh, so we're coming over here and then we're just going to create a quick update blog post 
and then we're going to upload an image to it. We're going to use this test image, hit submit. And then we have blog, post, and a picture of Lieutenant Commander Worf in a Girl Scout sash. Uh, now, really quick over here, in the uh, here's here's what our console spit back at us. We got the field name, original name, encoding is seven bit, MIME type, destination, file. This this is the actual file name that it saved it in in the uploads folder and the size. So you can do all sort you can do all sorts of stuff uh, with 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 Molter and it's a really cool tool. Um, I've already recorded this before and it was way well over five minutes, so I'm being a little brief. But this is in a really quick overview of how to use Molter to create an upload tool. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great day.